You don't need to water it down No one else has the same story Stay with it, please. Hey, Taurus. How you guys doing, loves? Thank you, my beautiful empresses and my beautiful, handsome emperors. How are you guys doing? Thanks for joining the channel this month, Taro, babe. I know you're not obligated to be here, so what's up? How y'all doing? I hope everybody's good health and great wealth is in par for them. And if you don't feel like it is, just look around you, honey. Okay. Just look around you. Let's see what the messages are for Taurus at this time, Spirit. Thank you so much for bringing Taurus into the energy. Okay, we got the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Who's breaking up here? Who's broken up with somebody? Somebody's not taking it easy as you think. Mm -mm. They're not. Yeah, Chariot. Somebody did something really quick here. <laughs> Too fast. Yeah, the moon card in the reverse. We got cancer energy here hella fast, okay? Hella fast. Like a drop top. Hey, hey, ay, ay, ay. I love you guys so much, Tauruses. Thank you guys so much for the donations and the love. Mmm. Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding on to happiness, though. You make somebody extremely happy. I think somebody's getting that now that they did something too fast here. That's the energy I'm getting a little more spirit, please. Ace of Swords. Hey, baby, that's the truth. That's the truth. That's clear. That's a clear. It's a clero. Clero. Hmm. Somebody's whipped. That's what I feel here. Somebody's absolutely whipped. Somebody is whipped. They did something too fast, something too impulsive. Somebody on a call or a text message for What's this chariot energy? Yeah, the emperor in the reverse. Somebody did something way too quick. They think they're a boss. They think they're bossy. They think that they uh, run things. They think that they run other people. The problem with this person is they have a hard time controlling themselves. So that would make sense that they think they can control you too, Taurus, okay? That would make sense for them to think that. We got the queen of swords that fell out in the reverse. Okay, a lot of lies. Okay, I'm also feeling guilt here. I'm also feeling a cut of communication. This person doesn't communicate their feelings to you much, do they? Whoever you're dealing with. This could be a friend. Hmm. They did something too fast, though. They regret that shit, because I saw that three of swords with five of cups. We got the page of cups in the reverse. That punk-ass cup, Taurus. Could be done with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, of course. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with the Aries. Doesn't matter. You could be dealing with anybody. Remember, Taurus, this is just the energy, okay? So make sure you always keep that in mind on my channel. It's just the energy. I mean, and the, or this person could, if you know their birth chart, they could have somewhere, some of this in their birth chart. Uh, we got the Five of Cups again, split in the deck with the Eight of Wands. Somebody wants to communicate with you of how sad they are, but... They like to conceal their feelings. They like to conceal what it is that they're feeling in a way. They don't like to share that. It makes them feel like they're weak. So they hold back. Okay, assuming that's going to get them in this two of wands energy, get somewhere. But what it's doing is actually slowing them down, not at pentacles. It's not getting them anywhere with you. Maybe this works with other people that they deal with, but it's not working with you. You are a fixed sign. Many of you are Aries and Taurus Cuspers. By the way, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Taurians. Happy birthday to you. Let's blow out the candle, Taurus. Beautiful, Taurus, beautiful. Now I'm gonna relight it, okay? <laughs> You're like, this is crazy. If it's your first time here on the channel, you better get used to that stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody did something too quick here, Taurus. They thought I was going to express how worth, how valuable they are. It actually expressed something different, okay? It showed how much they don't value themselves. Because if they value themselves, they'd still be with you. Hello? <laughs> Ring the bell, baby. Spirit, what's this moon card in the reverse? Happy birthday, Taurus. I did that for y'all some years ago. When I first got onto my, when I first made my channel, I did a happy birthday with the, it was a big pink candle. I'm not sure what video that was, but I 
remember, spirit, what's the moon card in the reverse for Taurus? Ace of Wands. Hey, Taurus, what this person tried to hide, but it came out anyways, they a freak. <laughs> Somebody here is addic addicted to sex, okay? Addicted to sex, they spread lies and things like that. They try to confuse other individuals through sex. Or somebody might do this with, um, they feel like they're very, it's very exciting to confuse other people. I don't know why I'm getting confusion. I'm getting sex here. Okay. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. This slows their love life down. Somebody here wants nothing but a beautiful, ordinary love life. And they can't have that because of the things that they do. They swindle individuals. Okay, where this person did this to you, there was some breakup. That Three of Swords with that Five of Cups spoke out loudly. Okay. Let's see. The moon in the reverse spirit. What's this ace of wands? Something with this ace of wands with this ace of swords here. Somebody wants to communicate with you badly. They want to give some type of truth or something. Yeah, the lovers. Somebody's in love. Ace of wands. Ace of wands, though, with this lover's card. This could be a Gemini you're dealing with or a Cancer. This ace of wands with this lover's card. Somebody gets around. I have to be honest. And you see it says the lovers, not the lover. Okay, for some of you, somebody's in love with you. They conceal how they feel completely. Okay, five of swords in reverse. Whatever they did, it backfired. Like I said, it didn't work. Whatever this was, it did not work out in their favor. Whatever favor, let's just say that their favor, what they wanted to have in favor was to be able to have you and have their cake and eat it too. Whatever you want to call, how you want to call that. But I feel here strongly, Taurus, that somebody here is not very apologetic about it. If they are apologetic, it's not sincere. It's just like, oh, let me hurry up and apologize to Taurus. Like, get over with my, get on with my life. Like, I want them to bring back that love. I want to have everything go back to the way it was. No. Yeah, temperance energy here, Taurus. No. And the thing that this person hid from you is that the love that you gave them, it balanced things out in their life. Whether they want to tell you that or not, I'm seeing it right here. This person just has so much control issues with lies. They don't communicate the full truth with this queen of, uh, queen of swords in the reverse, okay? That somebody here is very nitpicky. They pick, they pick at things that don't really need to be picked at, okay? But it's all out of jealousy. It's all out of something that they can't offer you. They don't know how to offer this. They're so busy trying to control everybody else around them and how they feel because they can't control their own love, their love for self. They don't, they don't truly, they can't control, they don't know how to, they don't know how to look in the mirror, Taurus, and be satisfied with self. They feel more confused when they look into a mirror, but whereas it might be you, Taurus, you'll look in the mirror and you'll be like, I know who I love. I know who I want. This person doesn't know these things. Okay, but the lovers here with this temperance energy, this is a love, Taurus, that balances this person out. They're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that. Okay? With this Queen of Swords here, especially in the reverse, now I've got the two uh, pinnacles in the reverse um yeah <laughs> that clarifies it the temperance energy here could be done with the sagittarius this temperance energy here with the two of pentacles in the reverse it's a balancing love that you give the moon card in the reverse that's the secret that's out now that's the secret that's out if it's a secret for you or for them it doesn't matter whatever this person was trying to conceal before they definitely can't conceal it now taurus a lot of you had a hard time moving away from this this chariot, this person goes way too fast. They're way too fast with the emperor in the reverse right up underneath that. They go way too fast on making decisions. They're very impulsive. They don't think, hey, this might hurt Taurus if I do this. This might hurt Taurus if I spread this lie. This is a friend. This might hurt Taurus even if it's a family member. They don't see it that way. All they know is that when they're with you or when they're around you, they feel balanced. This temperance energy. They feel like you're some type of angel, like you're destined to be in their life. But I'm going to tell you honestly, Taurus, if you want me to lie, you better find another channel. The emperor here in the reverse with the cherry in the upright, this person does not make clear decisions. They don't do it to make, it's not really they need to make other people comfortable, but they do things just to make people feel out of touch with themselves because they don't know who they are. You feel me? You don't? I'm sorry. Could we don't with the Taurus little Capricorn here? Spirit, what's the ace of swords in the upright? They want to talk. Yeah, look at Come on, Taurus. <laughs> Eight of Wands. They want to talk. Ten of Cups. That's what they're trying. That's also something that they're concealing is that you make them happy. I just don't understand how this person gonna move through life like this. How they gonna keep fucking people over that they really want to be with? That doesn't make any sense, Taurus. Okay. Yeah. Six of Cups. 
Well, this is a past situation or whatever. Taurus, you versus you boosts burst. <laughs> okay, you might have burst their ego a bit. <laughs> you boost their ego. You make this person have hope. But hope is just not enough. You got to act on that. Okay? Yeah, see? They want a second chance here. They want a second chance. They feel this is love. Whatever breakup happened here. <laughs> Taurus, I feel like your patience ran out. And then your footsteps slowly followed with that knot of pentacles I saw. Yeah. Two of swords in the reverse. Yeah. And you see this, Taurus. You see that this person wants to communicate. Somebody also here wants to open up. That's what I'm getting with this Ace of Swords. Like they want to come out with some type of truth. Next to this lovers here. Oh, yeah. They want to right their wrongs. They want to make things right. So here's where I'm having an issue. Yeah, Queen of Wands in the upright. But we just saw the Queen of Swords, uh, the King of Wands in the upright. Here's where I'm having an issue. This person based all this on what they provide is moments where they feel like dealing with it and then moments where they don't feel like dealing with it. So it may come off as like, you know, they're not all the way there. They want you to see or look at them like they're this leader, this, you know, big person. But deep down inside, they're very small. And that's not to cut anybody down. That's the truth of what I'm seeing here. Somebody's like, I know it's love. 11-11 when I just said that. I know it's love, but, well, I'll just continue to play games because that's all I know. And that's where you get to make the choice. Do you want to do you want to deal with somebody like this or do you want to move forward? You get to make the decisions. A lot of you might start saying in the comments, oh, I moved on from them. I don't care how long it's been. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to determine how long it's been. No. For some of you, it's been 10 years. For some of you, it's been two. Some of you, it's been two months. Hell, a week, four days. But whatever it is, this person feels some type of connection to you. But the only thing that makes me, like, I just don't think they're getting... They're willing to get rid of the game. Like, this is this is the type of person that just plays a lot of games. Male or female. I don't do gender. But this Queen of Wands here in the upright with that King of Wands that I saw, there is attraction between you and this person. But is attraction enough to keep something going? Is it good? Is it fair for you to feel insane while they feel sane about them making you feel insane? If anybody can understand what I'm saying, I hope. If not, I'm sorry. Let's say, Taurus, you're very faithful to this person. And... They make you feel rejected every time. But when you guys connect in a sexual way, it's love. But then outside the bedroom, everything else falls. It don't make no sense. No, no true communication. No sincere apologies. No sincere apologies. If they do wrong, if they keep doing wrong, they keep apologizing. I mean, come on. There's the, that the, the, the mistakes become choices. Then we got the emperor here in reverse. All to have control. All to have control. And it's not very ha it's not a very good idea to be in the chariot going out of control, going out of fast speed, thinking that you know everything. When really you don't. This is what will keep happening. Apology after apology. And then for, eventually you'll get tired of hearing it. You'll get tired of hearing it. That's not me farting, y'all. That's my chair. Queen of Wands. Yeah. Ace of Swords. This person wants to have confidence to come towards you and speak to you. Okay? Because this breakup doesn't suit them. They don't feel complete without you. Surprise, the world card ain't coming here. When I just said incomplete, I don't see the world card, but I see the five of pentacles. Yeah, they don't feel complete. But at the same sense, they feel left out of your life. Queen of Wands here in the upright. Again, I saw that King of Wands. There's an attraction here between you and this person, especially with this Ace of Wands here with the moon card in the reverse. That's no secret here. The lovers here with the uh, temperance, that's like a love that's balanced. If you see these angel wings right here and then these angel wings right here, the two of pentacles in the reverse, this is... It's like you make some order in this person's chaotic life. But that's where you get to make the decision, Taurus, is if it's worth being in somebody's life to make them feel balanced, but yet they make you feel like you're ape shit, like something wrong with you. You feel me? Make you feel inadequate in some way, shape, or form, or embarrassed by having other lovers, or maybe whatever they might be doing, gossiping, saying bad things about you, or telling other people they don't date you, or being embarrassed. I don't know what it could be. It could be anything, Okay. But Hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgo energy. You have to take a closer look. This person may be very attractive. They may want to talk to you. They may want to clear things out. Okay. They may want to open up to you. But is it going to be sincere? Is it sincere? Is it the complete truth? Ace of Swords can be the complete truth. But sometimes, y'all, that's just communication. That's sharp communication. That's somebody telling you what they feel or maybe how they are 
or maybe telling you what they can't, why they act the way they act. For some of you, that will never happen. If you want me to sit here and tell you the truth, it'll never happen when this person actually speaks out what they do is wrong and they know what the fuck they're doing. They know what they're doing to hurt you, but are they willing to actually stop and cooperate? That is something they're going to have to decide. But with this eight of wands here, next is two of swords in the reverse, this person can see now. They can see what you bring. Temperance and the lovers. Mm-hmm. They can see what you bring to the table. It's no secret anymore. Maybe before they didn't know. Spirit, give me something on this moon card in the reverse. Maybe before they didn't know. Yeah, six of wands in the reverse. Before they didn't know. And not, not only did they not know, their ego, their ego and their pride was so much more important that it caused to hurt you. Not of swords, because they're in this very inner this this weird energy with the emperor here in the reverse. Turning upright. They do things way too fast. They're too impulsive and it causes to hurt other people. But they don't really see the hurt in somebody else. All they know is what I need for myself. At that moment in time, that's what I felt I needed. So whether it was gonna hurt Taurus or not, I'm gonna do it. This might be a weird individual here. Yeah, judgment. After the hurt, they want another chance. But Taurus, guess what? This will be your justice. Okay, whether you want to go forth with this and try to work it out, Ten of Cups. Or if you just want to move forward with your own life and heal from this. Somebody here feels betrayed because their ego got broken. Like I said before, you burst their ego. That was something I wasn't meaning to say, but I think somebody's ego here is bruised. But in the same sense, I think somebody here wasn't successful in keeping the secret hidden from you. Or for you to keep this hidden from them. Take it as it resonates. With this Ace of Wands here and the Six of Wands and the Upright here, that's Seven Wands. That was protecting yourself. Whether you know it or not, whatever betrayal happened here, it was protection. It was protection because towards what you do provide is this temperance and lover's energy. You give your lover all that they need, all that they need. Some of you may not even have nobody ask. They don't even have to ask you for it. You have it. You know how to give that. But somebody here does not. Emperor spirit in the reverse. Somebody here has a hard time. Two of wands. Exactly. Two of wands here. Ugh. With the page of wands in the reverse, that's three wands. That's them always waiting for something to come into favor when they do these reckless actions. Three of cups in the upright. And then when they're done doing the reckless action, they expect you to reconcile with them. A reunion, whether it's two days, two hours, nine days. It doesn't matter. Anytime, whatever. They got a big chip on their shoulder. Clarifying the emperor in the reverse being the two of wands in the upright, Taurus. I think that this is you making a different decision. Maybe you didn't see it at first. Maybe this person went really fast too with uh, let's get married or let's, you know, let's do this. Let's move in. Let's do this. It was going too fast for you. But that loving, kind energy that you provide, not only do you provide it for others, but if you may not notice, you provide it for yourself. And that's what has this person feeling betrayed. It's because you actually stop giving that to them. And it's like, that's not great news for them. Page of Wands in reverse because they can't get in touch with you. Somebody here can't get in touch with you, but they is itching for some truth. Maybe somebody wants you to unblock them with that Six of Wands in reverse. It's hurting their ego and their pride that you won't let them, you won't unblock them. You won't talk to them. You won't reach out to them. Some of you are reaching out to this person. They're giving you sex offers. Meet up for sex. Spirit, six of wands in reverse. But it, some of you, it's not, for most of you, it's not successful. Yeah, five of swords because you see what they're doing. <laughs> the moon in the reverse, you're not fooled by this. You know what you offer. Congratulations, Taurus. Congratulations. Congratulations on loving yourself. It's like, Taurus, you went down a long corridor. Okay, a long hallway. Okay, whatever. And... You know, have you ever seen some movies, okay, um, where there's like all these doors, well, there's like maybe six or seven doors throughout that whole entire hallway, and you go and you open, you try to open up, each door is locked, you can't get in, but then finally at the end of the hall, when you're just about to give up hope and probably just turn around and be like, well, I guess since all these doors up here were locked, the ones I just passed, maybe six doors, maybe five, maybe four doors were locked, I'm just going to give up. No, Taurus, you didn't do that. You kept going. And then finally, you went to a door that was actually open and you walked through that motherfucker, okay? And now somebody needs to try to come back in and say, look, 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 look. I was, I was he keeping all those other doors locked because I really want to test your patience. I really want to see if you truly love me or not. Well, that's not somebody that really truly loves you if they want to see you struggle to get to them. If they're doing it on purpose, there's a problem with that. 
Five of Swords in the upright. They see you, like I said before, Taurus, as temperance and as lovers. They see you giving all this love. They see you giving balanced energy to them. That's what you do. Ace of Wands here. It might have a lot to do with sex. This may be how you and this person connected in the first place. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck in the upright. Hmm. They watch, but they're not happy. They watch you, but they're not happy. It might be something you're doing. Maybe it's your confidence. Maybe this isn't them, Taurus. Maybe this is your confidence, and they want to talk to you really badly here. Now they want to open up, okay? With that Five of Swords coming out, the Six of, uh, six of Wands in reverse, somebody's ego has been fucking stepped on. Somebody's pride. Like, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to wait. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. With the Moon card in the reverse, Taurus, um, I, I don't think this is a secret for you anymore. I don't think it's a secret. I think you've taken some time to really do some inner reflecting. And somebody else has just been spying on you while you're doing the inner work. While you're doing the inner reflection. Somebody just spying. You see this? And then right after that, we have the four swords. Resting, reconsidering. Okay. What is it that you truly want out of love? Or what it is that you want out of life? It doesn't have to be you have to want a partner. You may not want that. Nine of swords in the upright. And somebody's scared. That's what I'm getting here. None of this is like the losing sleep, anxious. Somebody's scared here. They're in fear of you actually not wanting to communicate with them or you not wanting to communicate with them, Taurus. It's why you're sitting here getting your money. First, you're looking confident or somebody, Taurus, here that you were dealing with is very sexy, very handsome. They want to open up now, but why would that be? Because you're content without them. Isn't that fucked how people think like that? Well, wow, since we separated, we broke up. It made me sad, but why are they doing better since we broke up? Oh, my ego's hurt. I got to come back and try to play some mind games to get up back in this because what they offer is something shit. It's tangible as a motherfucker. Taurus, here you are, King of Pentacles. It ain't just got to be money. It could be your energy. Simple. It could be something as simple as that. But the problem that I'm having here as well, maybe not you, Taurus, but what, me being the reader here, what I'm seeing Somebody went way too fast thinking that they know a lot about you and they didn't know exactly how deep of a beautiful person and a, and a good lover and a, and a true provider and how faithful you were. Why they were so busy making you feel discouraged, okay, rejected, overwhelmed, thinking you were doing something wrong throughout the whole relationship when you truly maybe not were doing anything wrong. You just wanted to balance them out. You wanted to make them feel comfortable. You wanted their heart chakra to open up. You want them to share love with you, share joy, value you as much as you value yourself. Did you ever think of that? It's not that you didn't love yourself. For some of you, that's not what I'm getting here. I think that when you truly started giving the value to self and not giving it to somebody else that did not really deserve it, I think you became this king of pentacles. <clears throat> Strength card now at the bottom of the deck here, Leo energy. You became stronger, and that's what insults this person. That's why I saw the Ten of Swords and now the Five of Swords. If there was a such thing as a 50, uh, the Fifteen of Swords, this would be somebody feels it, like very troubled. They can't have their cake and eat it too. They feel troubled by that. This Ace of Swords here with the Eight of Wands in the upright. Somebody either online... Messenger, via text, via email, somebody wants to contact you. They're not right next to you either. Yeah, somebody wants to contact you. They want to talk. And they feel very, um, I don't know why, Queen of Wands, Spirit. I don't know why, I think somebody feels like, um, yeah, Three of Wands. Look, they're up here too. But the Two of Wands in the upright, Page of Wands here is in the reverse. Those two of wands towards clarifying the emperor, the two of wands, is you choosing another path. You're not looking back at this emperor right here. And if you see this wand here in the two of wands, this, this wand back here, this person's not looking at that. They got the world in their hand. They're looking in front of them. Where I'm sitting in that, and I didn't do that on purpose. I just was clarifying it. You're not looking back at this. And this is what, this is what pisses this person off. They're hurting. That's what that is because they made a mistake. And then we got the three of wands here, okay? Clarifying the Queen of Wands. Somebody's waiting for you. But they're confident that the stability you have and the boss energy that they, they like to have, you know, like the control or whatnot, it'll go well together. It'll balance this out. They want to try this again. 
But I think it comes with a little mind trick with this Five of Swords in the upright. Oof. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. You're growing and you're growing strong. This King of Pentacles, I know, okay, a king and an empress. People would automatically, the first thing that comes to their mind, the empress is a female and the king of pentacles is a male. No, what I feel here is growth. I feel change. I feel prosperity. And that's absolutely beautiful. The empress always doesn't have to be a specific person. Not with my readings. I don't know about anybody else's, but not with mine. Hmm. Very interesting reading, Taurus. Yeah, look, so they throw shade. They throw shade because they ran from this. Okay, and now the struggle's real. You see that? That they probably have other people trying to offer them shit or try to talk to them. Or they might like to have rendezvous trying to find that same you and somebody else. And they're not going to do that. Instead, they're stuck with memories about you. You see Soul Train? If a lot of you know about Soul Train, it's pretty much of an old show. And it says memories here. And it says, be careful. They both look alike. Sugar, salt, and sugar. And then check yourself. Hmm. Hmm, Taurus. Happy birthday, Taurus. Again, baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, friends. And then we have storm warning. So be careful about what friends you surround yourself with at this time, Taurus. Somebody might be relaying inner, uh, not energy, but messages or saying things behind your back. Or somebody saying things behind this person's back. Somebody's actually revealing some type of truth here. Okay? Yeah, unchanged. I think I got that in y'all's last reading. That's at the top of the deck here. That might be the thing that's going on. Is somebody might be telling you somebody's changed drastically. When really truly, they probably have not. Okay? But I'm also getting this, uh, this storm warning here, which would be like the tower card. Maybe you might be surprised by this information, Taurus, of a friend telling you something about somebody that hasn't changed or that they have changed. You'll be surprised by it. It'll be a tower for you because you'll never expect it. But this three of wands here with this queen of wands, it gives me the energy that somebody's just waiting you are the ships that are coming in, Taurus, if you come back to this person. You'll be the Ten of Cups for them. But also me seeing the Ten of Swords in the upright. Somebody here feels backstabbed and betrayed because they didn't figure this out sooner. So with this Five of Swords here with the Six of Wands in reverse, I feel like somebody wasn't successful at swindling you or making you feel some type of way. But you became successful here with whatever endeavor you're doing. Moving on with your life, loving yourself, making healthier choices, whatever it is. And they feel just like a little bit of a game or a little bit of a mind twist would be okay. Just to add in some spice. But here I see you progressing. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like it. No, y'all, I, I ain't farting. It's my chair. <laughs> Listen. You hear it, Taurus? I'm not farting, guys. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> like I said, I don't see the Empress all the time as a person. I think that's your, just your energy, period. The Empress card is Libra and uh, Taurus energy. It is. And then we have the uh, we have the, uh, the High Priestess, especially here with the Temperance energy and the Sun. You see everything for what it is, but it's refreshing, Taurus. It's not stagnant. That's not what I'm getting from that energy. It's not stagnant. What might this person need to say to Taurus? Because somebody really wants to talk to you. So let's put it out here, Spirit. What do they need to say to Taurus? Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> My kids. <laughs> okay. I feel empty without you. And then I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Okay. Somebody that definitely here did not see something the way it is. They know now. I think they know now, but I think they had a hard time seeing that before. At the bottom of the deck, we say, I, we say, the cards say, I still have growing to do. At the bottom of the deck, if y'all can see that. I still have growing to do, which makes sense. I saw that too, but of course, you get to use your own discernment, your own intuition. You get to make the decision on what's best for you, okay? You get to make that decision. Spare two cards. Taurus, thank you. Happy birthday to the Taurian spirit. Please give them great wealth and health spirit. Please take good care of them. Whether their birthday is yesterday, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, 
Taurus, the next day, the next day, the next day, whatever day it is, babe, happy birthday. Uproot your life and leave all that's familiar to you. Okay, Taurus, that's what the ending messages say. And then it says, I promise you, it does get better. Oh, wow. So on this, on this road to discovering who you are and what it is that you bring and what it is that you value about yourself, even though people around you, Taurus, may not be ready to change, it doesn't mean you don't have to grow. Okay? It doesn't mean you have to stay stuck with them. You get to make the decision. That's beautiful. Some of you are about to move. Some of you are very much right now in this energy where you don't really want to do anything. You just want to rest. Like you might have a stack of dishes going on in your kitchen. I don't know why I'm getting that. Or you may not have your laundry done. Or some of you might have your laundry inside the dryer just sitting. Even though it's dry, you don't feel like taking it out, folding or anything. And that's okay. Somebody needs to hear that. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect every single day of your life. There's no such thing as perfection, but I have to be honest, Taurus. With this energy, I think that you're better than this person. I have to be honest. It's not me gassing you up. I have to say that in a lot of y'all's readings because I, I got somebody that said a comment about you're always trying to make Taurus feel better than, than nobody's better than nobody. Hell, to me, people are better than other people. I don't care what nobody say. Okay? Period. Taurus, that's been your reading. If this didn't give you any clarity, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. This reading was for somebody. If it's for one person, I hope that they understand what the reading's saying, okay? I love you guys so much. I'm praying for everybody. Even the cross watchers are people that don't like me. It's okay. Um, I hope that you do you get you get you get on you get on with your life better. Whatever decision you make, I hope it makes your life better for you. 31, 31 as I say that. I love you guys, Simone and Back Taurus. I really truly do. And I hope that this gave some clarity to, for somebody. Um, thank you guys so much for the subscribes. And I really do appreciate the viewing. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful uh, weekend, Taurus, okay? <laughs> I love you guys so much. Happy birthday to all the Tauruses. It's coming. It's here. Isn't it? Taurus season is here. Okay, guys. I love you. Drink responsibly. Somebody needs to hear that. <laughs> I love you guys so much, Taurus. Have a good day, loves, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.